Today's Catholic calisthenic exercise is going to be foam rolling 101. We're just going to talk a little bit about what foam rolling is. This is a 36 inch full foam roller. These are becoming a little more popular in gyms, people are ordering in their homes. This is a five inch small ball, but it works the same way. We talk a lot about movement in Catholic Fit, that it's important to have mobile joints in your shoulders and your neck and your ankles. Another place in your body that's where it's very important to have movement is actually between the layer of skin and your layer of fascia, your layer of fat, okay, your layer of muscle. All the layers that, that just go down from the top of your skin that you can feel down deep into your muscles, almost where your bones are, that all needs to kind of slide and glide and move around as well. That's what foam rolling does. Sometimes your, your legs can feel a little stiff. You've been sitting at your desk all day long. Your upper back muscles feel a little tight. You stand up from a chair after a couple hours, you can feel a little tight. If the front of your knees right below your uh, kneecaps are kind of talking to you a little too much when you get up and down from a chair, it might just be that some of the tissues aren't moving well. That's what foam rolling does. It's, it's kind of a way to just give ourselves a massage for a couple minutes every day. Becky's gonna use this full foam roller and she's gonna start with her thighs. So this is, this is great for the front of your hips and your knees especially. She can roll up and down, okay, kind of hold a plank position and just go up and down from kind of almost to the top of her kneecaps up to the top of her hips. And if she finds a spot that's a little sensitive, she can stay on that spot and roll up and down, you know, about four inches up and above that sore spot because you'll feel some knots and what we call trigger points in there. She can shift her hips onto her left side a little bit. So when she rolls this, um, this is all the way over onto what we call your IT band. We can roll the side of your hips. So you have IT band problems, you feel this on the side of your knees. This can help loosen that up a little bit. You can hit your quadriceps, but she can kind of hit the outside of her quadricep as well. If you're cramping during the night, okay, these are great exercises to do as well. And so specifically, we cramp a lot in our calves during the night. So Becky's gonna do a couple calf rolls. So she can use the foam roller first. She's gonna sit up here. Now the toughest part about this is just supporting yourself or supporting your weight with your shoulders. All right, so she can roll up and down and she's just gonna feel all of her calf muscles from the back of her knee all the way down to her heel. So if you have Achilles tendonitis, okay, the back of your heel hurts or the, even the bottom of your foot hurts, this is a great exercise for that. Um, but what we like to use even more than the foam roller is the small orb, this five inch diameter. It's kind of a, a high density foam is what we call it. And she can roll that calf all over the place. If you're cramping uh, at night, especially in your calves, this is something you can do to just kind of relax those muscles before you go to bed at night, okay? And then she can move it up into her hamstrings. And we like using the ball because she can go forward and backwards, side to side, okay? We'll do this for eight or 10 minutes uh, before a workout. Although if you find yourself rolling every single day, that's a little too much. This is something you do every other day, every third day, okay? Um, but this is part of your maintenance. This is up there with brushing teeth, uh, you know, or, or getting an oil change in your car, just to do a couple of these things every day to feel pretty good. Uh, we have a lacrosse ball. We use a lacrosse ball the same way that digs a little deeper into your knots as well. Uh, last one we'll do is a um, upper back foam roll. This is especially important. If you're sitting in your desk chair so much during the day, you're in this position, okay? If your spine is forward and you go to stand up straight, Okay, remember your body gets good at what you ask it to do most of the time. If you're sitting in a chair like this for eight hours a day, we have to loosen that up and mobilize your upper back. This is a great way to do that. All right. So Becky can roll up and down. She's hitting her upper back muscles all around her shoulder blades, releasing some of that tension. And then she can just bring her hips down to the floor. She comes back a little bit and now she's just kind of drape over it and then come back up. All right and then drape over it again, and that's a good stretch. Again, just to kind of take you out of that fetal, that forward flex position, and really open up your back, okay? Whether your kids are in, in, in class and they're sitting in their desks all day long and then going into PE class, or you're working nine to five job at your desk all day long, you're a desk jockey, but you wanna get off work and go for a run, go for a walk, or go coach fourth grade basketball practice, this is a nice thing to do for a few minutes uh, before you head out to do so, all right? Try these out, I guarantee you'll feel better, and uh, we'll see you next time.